Hello there everybody. Dank the Muffin Man is back today. Yes. To watch some Attack on Titan Season 3 Episode 7. First of all, thank you to all the regular viewers, last subscribers. And thank you to the new viewers here today watching Attack on Titan. We got so much reveals last episode about Aaron's father and the sin he did. Okay. We also um, learned a little bit more about the Archimedes and their role to play in this whole uh, in this whole process, in this whole thing. How they cannot be controlled by the royal family and that is why they were persecuted and hunted down and killed. Okay? I want to see what happens this episode. Um, I sense a battle is brewing. Kenny is there. Uh, Levi is there. Aaron is there. Historia is there. The ceremony still has to take place, so let's see what happens, okay? And as always, no spoilers, please. I'm an anime only, so please, no spoilers, okay? The anime reaction begins now. Let me go. She is not entirely dead. Huh? Still live on in Eren. You bastard! This guy... Oh my... Is he gonna give up what I think? The serum. <laughs> to avenge your mother? He knows! He knows! Look at the... He actually did it. Here they come. Holy shit, Connie. Dead. Mikasa, what is shit? Oh my goodness! Boy! I can't get Mikasa! What is shit? Levi is coming! <laughs> Let's go, Kenny! Wow, it actually made a dent in the crystals? Yeah. Yeah. Explosion time. Holy shit! Got him! Was not a clean hit though. But that was, but, but <laughs> it looked like a cut deep though. That was a deep ass cut. Mm. Kanji. Going down. I think he's fine. Hopefully. This Which Titan? A hundred years ago? What? One Titan? The power of that Titan we start and touch. What? A female Titan too? So one Titan did all of this? One? 
その末裔も他の人類も100年前の世界の歴史を誰も覚えていないただ一人フリーダ・レイスを除いては Because she is that descendant. Because she is the descendant of the original Titan. It was passed on to her. Now, I'm going to be a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a l i t t I see. Frida was so no children no chicarato, Sekai no Kyoko Kesho Shita. I see. Oraji Kotora Hakuna, Nanta Yumo Watari. So Aaron has the original Titan. <laughs> Aaron has the original Titan's ability from a hundred years ago? Aaron is that powerful? Oh, my goodness, Kill him. I want this guy dead. この No, kill him. ヒストリア。もう分かっただろ。このおやじはおめえをバケモノに変えてエレンを食わせようとしてんだとよ。寿命が尽きるまで生きしてるって。それが生きているというのか。ヒストリア。この中だな協力な巨人になれ。ノーノーノーノーノーノーノー。正確には背骨をかびくなき。ノーノーノーノーノーノーノー。ノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノーノー
Yes! Don't do it. What? Father? He gave up. <laughs> oh my goodness, the soundtrack. Oh, it was so good. It's getting better and better now. A new titan is forming. That guy, he gave up. He was using his story this whole time. I I believe his story was half bullshit, half half real. But oh my lord, um, I need to talk about this episode, guys. Hold on and be strong. The muffin man will be right back. <laughs> oh my goodness, this was. Excellent, 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 excellent. Oh my lord. Hold on. First of all, if any of you want to stick around for my discussion portion summarization of the episode, uh, feel free to do so. If not, I'll see you next week for episode 8. I have to talk about this episode if you don't mind. First of all, first thing I want to talk about here is John here. Um... First time we've seen such character development for John. Again, this episode was excellent to like show slight developments in all the characters, with his story being the most significant. But I'll get to her eventually. Okay. First of all, I like I really like the beginning portion of the episode with the action. Um, it 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 did show again the the, the development of um of John here and it even showed us the weakness of the the military police's um ODM gear how um it leaves them with a huge blind spot um which essentially makes the sword stronger than the gun the only thing that the gun has is well it's long range okay but against somebody like Mikasa who totally destroyed the soldiers here okay I'm surprised at how well like like somebody like Connie did I think they all did pretty good because they they all knew that they had no reason to hold back anymore. It was them dying or the opponent dying and they had to do it. Even, even if it seemed a little bit wrong, which it kind of was, um, they are spilling human blood, not titan blood. This time, right, so um, that's quite unfortunate. But it had to be done, alright. Um, it was good to see Levi and Kenny go go at it. Um, with Le Levi did get a, a little bit of a graze on Kenny, but it didn't really take him out. Um, Kenny seems a a, a little bit too experienced, uh, and uh, and he see he seems too experienced to die by something like that, right? He's like an old Levi essentially, right? So, moving on here, 
um, this was a quick glimpse of uh, the these are becoming more and more important to the story. Um, yeah, it's not that simple to inherit a titan's ability. All right, if you want to, one other way to do it, you need to get the spinal fluid. Um, there he was basically injecting Historia later on in the episode with spinal fluid. Okay. And that's so one way you could inherit um, um, abilities of a titan, okay? But you still become a mindless titan, okay? Um, why spinal fluid? I have no idea. Um, but that's important, okay? I don't know who spinal fluid that was, but um, I assume it was maybe the previous, maybe Freda's spinal fluid. Or maybe his uh, brother's spinal fluid. Um, he did seem very distraught, but I don't think it was just because it was most likely his brother's spinal fluid. Okay. Um, that begs the question: Was the spinal fluid that Aaron's father injected into Aaron his own? I thought it was just blood, but I I guess it's Aaron's father's spinal fluid that was injected into Aaron. Okay, and that's how he transforms. Alright. Um, okay, that's good to know. I'll have to keep keep this into keep this in mind. You get spinal fluid and basically it's that, huh? This uh Titan here, this divine looking holy tight Titan here, it 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 looks to be a female. Alright. From the port like I, it looks like a female, okay? Uh, the upper portion. I, I could be wrong about that, but it looks like a female. Um, this showed the titan that created the wall, yes. Apparently, it was one titan that made the walls. I, it wasn't like a group. So, this titan essentially made humans into titans of colossal size. Um, then commanded them to... to stand inside like the walls because we all know all the everything inside the walls is titans so uh with the power of this scream um beside altering the hearts um the hearts and memories of the people it had to he or she i'm going to assume as a she it looks like a she this female titan here looks like a female um i don't is is this the original king because Rodri said it was a male that made the wall titan that made the the walls 100 years ago but this look, looks like this looks like a female um but again for now i'll assume it's a female even though Rodri said that a male titan made it but this looks like a female um uh, so this titan along with altered memories turned pe people into titans and made them stand in place as walls, um, forcing them to, to crystallize themselves into walls, um, along with making the underground shuffle the, the same place that er that Eren is right now. Um, this titan made all of that. Um, which is clearly interesting too. You, you know what's weird? The color of the crystallization is the same color, I believe, of the fluid, the spinal fluid of um of what Rod Rod Reese has. I think it's the same color as the as the area. So that sir, that 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 that, th that spinal fluid was passed down for a long time. If that's the case, if it's not from um. If it's not directly from this titan here, it must be like uh, maybe if you eat the, as they pass on their power to generations, your spinal fluid or your or, 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 or your power takes the color of, like it was blue, this blue crystal, this blue color. Um, it seems that that's the case. Um, I could be wrong about that, but. It does seem that um, even when um, when there was this flashback with Rod Reese's brother emerging 
um and his eyes the look in his eyes was like the same bluish kind of color i could be wrong about that blue color that the shafel had the crystallization the blue color so maybe that serum was like from his brother or it was from this tight this female titan here which i highly doubt that they could preserve it that long we know now that this is the person responsible for erasing their memories but why because you believe this titan here believed that every human should be controlled by titans humans should worship the tit the titans like some kind of god okay when they're clearly not they're more akin to maybe like demons than than divinity and last that's the way how the titan looked like in the ending see the ending song of season two the titan had like a demonic kind of appearance but yet they want to be worshipped like gods no no i don't know about that although the this tight titan here does seem like divine the like the way how it's screaming like the light it does seem like a divine kind of presence it put it portrayed okay and this here is where the light began this here is where it all began with the light but why okay and through this titan became the Rod the Rodriguez family and the year huh but wait if you could just get the power from spinal fluid can't you just continuously get spinal fluid because you are titan and you could regenerate and get proper spinal fluid over and over again can't you just give give the spinal fluid to an infinite amount of people which begs the question how the hell did the beast titan tram I, I have more questions because of this um did this titan transform humans at this point in time it selected humans to like become the walls like stand in the walls and because this type this titan here could alter their memories they they could at this point they became like servants the only ones who did not succumb to the scream was the um was the Ackermans and the um and the Orientals? So, would this be? Ha! Huh. I'm I'm glad that that they showed this. Um, but I would have loved to see like a flashback, like of this Titan actually doing the act. But this is good enough. Um, it does look like a divine godly Titan. Um, and this is what Rodri thought. He wants to bring a titan of this, mag this magnitude back in existence um, to worship it. He believes that humans should worship the titans as gods. And that is why there's, um, that is why Pastor Nick and there's the, the, the order of the church because of this titan here making ev ev everybody believe that 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 it should be worshipped this is where the whole praying to the tight praying to the titans came from and the wars they didn't they didn't directly say that that's what they were doing but that's essentially what they were doing not directly they, they never actually said ev ev ever that we are praying to the titans but they are praying to some kind of godly figure which is this okay I, I assume we'll we'll see more of this Titan eventually, but let's keep moving forward. Let's keep it going. As we move forward here, Kenny come comes in here and uh, question and calls out Rod a little bit more on his little his little his little statement that um only. Like, Rod Reese here is not being completely honest about what is going on in the succession ritual. Um, another thing too I, I need to talk about is during um, that flashback with Freda obtaining her Titan, the founding Titan ability, um, you saw again those piercing blue eyes that's similar to the place they're in right now um the blue crystal the 
the blue crystal eyes um Aaron has not shown anything like that before okay so we know that he, he the power is there inside him but he hasn't really remembered anything even though he has the memories he can't access it because apparently it needs Arod Reese's blood to manifest which I don't believe because Aaron remembered Arod no Fred he remember he's be he be, he's beginning to remember Freda uh, that was before he even got his memories back about how um she died to begin with so Rodriguez here is not telling everything there is to tell um I believe that Aaron can uh, manifest the founding titan's power and remember how everything came to be before the walls were created but something needs to trigger it um okay uh Rodri says says it's a uh, Titans uh, a Rodri's bloodline that triggers it, but I don't think that's the case. Can he call call them out on his bullshit? And I believe him. There's details that he did not say say to um his story because he wants his story to believe everything that he is saying. He 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 wants his story to comply, but I believe that his story already knew knew that he wasn't being completely honest but i get more to that later and also um apparently the reason why kenny is uh was in the was protecting the royal family to begin with is because of uh Rodriguez's brother uri um taking him in but why would he do that again there might be more of a backstory to kenny's past as to how he met uh, Rodriguez's brother and why it seems like he respects him so much. Alright? He has incredible respect for uh, Rodriguez's brother. Um, I'm surprised he didn't kill Rod Rodriguez right now. That I, I, any episode I wanted him to because I knew that this man could not be trusted. The, the, like the way how he was talking. Uh, he, he can be trusted. He could not be trusted. I wanted him to die at that point. I was with Kenny. Okay. Move, moving on. Right here, Aaron finally breaks down and has regrets. He believes Roderice's story and requests that uh, his story ends him. Which is quite interesting because. Uh, his father is not entirely responsible right yes his father did do a sin but again we don't know the real re reason as to why his father did what he did um his dad did look very worried and concerned he tried to stop and talk to freda before he did what he did he tried to talk it out but they but they didn't believe him they thought he was talk like freda's Protected the host like 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 her siblings. She left her hands out protected the siblings um, Because she didn't believe what Gracia had to say um, Or Aaron's dad had had to say at that moment, but it looked like uh, He he had no choice to do what he, what he did and he took took out the Rodriguez fam family from what I could see to prevent their bloodline from continuing but why Again, we need we 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 need to to learn about his father's persp like perspective, especially for me to assume that he's evil because I still don't think that that Aaron's dad is evil. And again, it was the colossal Titan, and I'm a Titan who broke down the walls to begin with, which in turn caused Thomas's death, all his friends' death, okay, his mother to die. So essentially, until you find out why Colossal and, um, and Armored came, it can't just be for Eren because they didn't know Aaron, like Eren was a was a Titan to begin with. Um, because their their mission changed when they saw Eren. So why do, why why did they break down the world to begin with? Don't spoil me. Don't tell me. Um, I assume that will be um revealed in season three because they have been revealing a lot of like questions. All right, so it was sad to see too. Um, Historia looked into Aaron's eyes, and I assume that she saw herself in Aaron. Um, the same kind of look Aaron has now, 
is the same look uh historia had the same tears in her eyes she had when she looked at her mom f like leave like like leaving her like she saw herself in Aaron because you know how historia or Krista wants to die she wants to die her her work dead but she doesn't want to live anymore she she saw that willingness to die in Aaron that hopelessness in Aaron that's why she began to cry too at least that's what it looks like to me all right it was a sad scene it re it, re it really got to me <laughs> it really did um move moving forward <laughs> we're moving forward here right here historia asked her father why you have the power of the titans for a hundred years you have the power to control you have the power to control the titans restrain them fix this whole problem why didn't you fix it in a hundred years hmm? Bullshit on Rod on Rodriguez's part here, huh? To eliminate the Titans? No, he never was going to do it to begin with. This cycle that just like continued over and over again. Okay. Um. We saw a flashback too. Um. Apparently, both Rodriguez and his brother asked um their father. Who had the founding titans abilities to free humanity to free humanity from the titans control to end this madness okay even their brother but like like believed so he believed that to be true okay but something odd happened when his when Uwe um his brother when Rodriguez's brother obtained the titan powers Again, his eyes assumed the same color like Freda did. The same PSM blue eyes. Um, that is the mark of the, I believe, the maybe the founding titan. The blue eyes. Okay, that's, that's the mark of the founding titan. Who, I guess, made all this crap happen. Right? His whole, like, demeanor changed. He didn't have the same look on his face. This, from the small clips we did see of his brother, he, he, he. He changed when he obtained the memories okay I don't know what what they see um but something happens to you when you get the founding Titans memories and you no longer want to to like you lose some part of yourself it looks like um it was at that point where um his brother believed the same thing the, like the father did um but oddly enough, Aaron did not obtain those founding memories yet. But I assume he will eventually. Alright. Um, and when Historia got to answer that all her father wants is to make this, 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 this god to continue this whole bullshit. He, he doesn't want to, want to eliminate the titans. He never did. He would have just continued the cycle. Over and over again, and the humans would have, would have like, um, the humans would have followed under the Rodriguez family. She would have, she would have ob obtained the scream and repeated the whole process over again. They would have gone back to the to the walls and erased all the humans' mem like the the memory of all all the humans who now have the secrets of the wall to some extent because that's what they are doing right the, like the people who are being tortured back in the walls are revealing the secrets but they know that they expect historia to come back and erase everybody's memories like it did a hundred years ago so they're just going to repeat the same process to control everybody under the governor of this divine titan this godly tit titan in historia Okay, I still don't know why Rod Reese refused to become a Titan. I mean, he could have done it, but he said, I must not become a Titan. Why? Why can't you do it? Is there a flaw with male Titans that males can't do it properly or something? I don't know. I don't know. Because um, from what we are seeing that the first Titan, well, the first human, I assume to become a Titan was a female. So maybe females have better control or something. I don't know. Because we see that in the ending theme of season two, the girl handing the person who was handing it was a girl who who first interacted with a Titan. Right? 
So yeah, I believe it's Krista. If it might be Krista. Um, the there was this girl in the book who Freda was saying that she should be more ladylike. Who Krista should who Krista should emulate. Um, the name Krista was in the book. This girl, I don't know if the girl we saw in the book that Freda showed his story was the same one in the ending team of season two because the titans that we see are two completely different titans so maybe um that titan we saw a hundred years ago in in the in the flashback was in fact krista um the one in the book or it was somebody completely different okay i could be wrong about that i could be wrong right and here in this little clip here we also see that this story re remembers like like it means words and she remembers she has to live for herself she forget she she no longer wants to die she she to like up up until this point she she wanted to to die a heroic death and die for the good of to like to like to die for good what she believed to be good but if she did do it she would no longer be dying a heroic death, okay? She she even believed herself to die at this point, which she would have because Eren would not be eaten. Something would have, would have come come along to save Eren, right? Because he's he, he's a main character, and she would have died uh, as a mindless titan, like she wanted to. But because of Radvisa's answer, she she woke up. She remembered like Emi's words. And in an epic scene, she slapped it out his hand and decided to live for herself, revealing the true historia uh, that was hiding behind, like, she cut the nice girl persona and it's the real historia now. Alright? We're moving forward here. Here, historia reveals her true intentions, that she hates humanity, she's the enemy of humanity, and she says that she'll destroy everything else. How are you going to do that? Do you want to become a titan? Or how are you going to become a titan and control yourself? Hmm? Um, I don't know what she means exactly, but she has intention to not be the ally of humanity anymore. But um, I guess the one last good thing to do is let Eren go. Um, because Eren made her feel happy. Eren, Eren um, she did say that, that what Eren said to her back then um i can't re remember the episode i think it was one or two Ep episode one i believe um aaron said that what what aaron said to historia um made, made her happy made her feel like like she's some like she's somebody okay um i don't know how long historia hated humanity uh for but i guess what 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 we see made her um hate humanity even more Okay, and when she flipped over Rod, Rod, they, um, it looked like he broke his back, like he couldn't walk after that. You hear this, like, the snap, that kind of break, I assume that his story broke, um, or damaged, um, Rod Reese's back. It looked like he couldn't walk, he looked like he, looked like, he, looked like he, was, he was in some serious pain there, alright? Okay, uh, moving on to the final scene. And Rod is here with his last bit of strength. He mustered to crawl over to the puddle of the spinal fluid, which I assume is maybe Freda, maybe? It can be Freda, because Freda died that day. This this spinal fluid was not from Freda, it's from somebody else. So maybe his brother, maybe? Um, at this point, I, yeah, I assume it could be his brother's spinal spin fluid, most likely. It can't be his because he's not a shifter, okay? So, it, somewhere there's a storage of spinal fluid, I guess. Um, it might be the last one, though, because he looked really destroyed when um, Historia, like, threw it on the ground. But it could be because um, she's basically destroying, she, she threw on the ground her, what's left of his brother, who I assume he looked up to. And believed in his brother's cause. All right, he wanted to, 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 to see his brother again. I guess. Um, he looks like he's lost all hope here. He wants to die, like Aaron did. 
uh well like Aaron does at this point in time and his story did he's lost all hope and he gave up and he became a titan okay which ironically is what his Toya wanted to do. His Toya wanted to die, and now Rodriguez is doing the same thing that his Toya is doing and giving up his life. Okay, he wants to go to his um to his to his, to his daughter and his um his brother. So at least this confirms that he really did care for for um Freda, even though it looked like he didn't. It, it, he has some he. It's his daughter, it's his, bl his flesh and blood, so he did care for Freda to some extent, okay? Even though he was kind of using them, uh, he's, he uses the people around him, he manipulates people, but he did care for Freda to some extent. Um, so next episode, we get to see Rod Reese's, Rod Reese in his Titan form, which would be a minus Titan, which Levi is there, Kenny is there, Aaron is there. There's no way that... Oh, I, I wonder how strong this this titan will be. I mean essentially this titan will have the power of uh the power of like the founder, right? It'll be a very strong one. Okay, it will not be a, a normal like random one. It'll, it'll be very powerful. Right? But he will not have the mermaids of anything, he'll just be a, a brainless, mindless titan. Um he did also instruct his story to eat when he were, if she was to eat Aaron is to eat the spinal fluid. Um but how the hell would she know that because she is going to be a man of Titan. Alright, um in any case um I think that's that's about it. I can't wait to see it next week. It's, it's gonna be quite the spicy one. Even more spice, okay. This about this episode was quite emotional. Um, it was a big change for Astoria. She's no longer the nice girl that, that we knew. We will no longer see a nice Astoria. I don't know what her intention is or how she plans to destroy everything here. Maybe she plans to, like, somehow destroy this crystallized area. Um, somehow. That's what she meant by destroy everything else. Okay. I assume that's what she means. Don't tell me if it's otherwise. Don't, don't, don't spoil me. Alright, I think that's about it, guys. It was quite good. I, I could keep talking because I like Attack, Attack on Titan and that's why I do these long videos for because I really love... I, I love Attack on Titan. And that's why I could talk about it for... What's this? An hour and 25 minutes on OBS right now? So yeah. Um, I think that's about it. Um, hopefully we see Yamir again. Uh... I'm sure that she'll be happy that most likely Historia might be joining Yamir now. Um, we haven't even seen Yamir or Bertrand or Rhino. What the hell are they doing? And where the flick is the Beast Titan? Anyway, I'm sure they will show themselves eventually. Okay? Um, to anybody who reached this point in the video, thank you for watching, okay? Thank you so much. Um, I'll see you next week for episode... It's episode 8. Episode 8 of Attack on Titan. Alright. And as always, don't spoil. Okay. I'm an I'm... A, I'm <laughs> what the fuck did I just say? I'm an anime only. <laughs> so please don't spoil me. Again. Um. So yeah. I think that's about it. Goodbye. So long. And farewell. Hmm? Goodbye.